Roger, once again, Mud Fossil University, talking about arteries and veins and blood and what they do in your hands and in your fingers. So, I've been posting all this stuff about blood running through your hands and how it goes in one side and webs through and comes out the other side as the black blood. And I've been showing these examples of this, which I will show you. So, I get this today from a guy, who, and I, I, I appreciate this kind of information. I really do, because I don't want to make mistakes. And I started saying, whoa, maybe I made a mistake. So, this guy, um, William here, sent me this. It says, why do you insist on spreading bogus information? Example, arteries and veins in our hands and toes. Arteries run on both sides, and veins run on top. I posted an illustration. So I looked at it and I said, ooh, I could be wrong. So I just click on it and learn something. And it shows, well, here's what it shows. Well, you know, this one was the bad one. Oh, the other one shows better. All right, you see it here? It's showing that these, these are arteries and then underneath the veins uh, um, return the blood. Well, so I said, how could I have gone so terribly wrong? So I said, well, let me look back at my research. And here's what I found. Okay, this is what I made my determination on. I see only two things coming in, and they feed, this side feeds two fingers, and this side feeds two fingers. So I'm thinking blood comes in and comes back. I could be totally wrong, but I don't see all these other veins and arteries they're talking about, two on each side, up and down and all that. I see one and one, and I see all the webbing, in between, it's quite obvious that this is where the blood filters through. And I showed this in my uh, mud fossils. So these are each fingers. And I'm seeing two in and out. So, let's look at something else. Now, this is what I use for my logo. And I see the same thing here. I don't see a whole batch of different tubes coming out. Two sets of tubes on each side. I see one. I do see exactly what I see in my mud fossils at the end of the fingers. I see a, one on each side, I see a couple on each side here. And I will show you how they work, because one of them has red blood, and one of them has black blood. And the one side that has the black blood pinches off, because that's the side that has the, the clamps in it. That's not what I'm seeing. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. I do my own research. I don't ex accept anything anymore. Not a thing. Not a single thing. That's what I'm seeing. So, back to my good friend William, who sent me this. And I do appreciate this. Trust me. I am not after William or anyone for sending me information to for me to validate my statements. I don't want to be wrong. Absolutely don't want to be wrong. So, in my extreme graciousness, which is extreme. I said, good info. Thanks. I will look into it. So I did. And then I sent back him, I can tell you for certain, and this is for certain, as you will see, that arteries blow out on one side of the fingers and not on the other. I can prove red blood is on one side and black on the other. You have a picture. That's all he shows is a picture. I have the evidence, so I will go with my evidence. And here's the evidence. Okay, just t t take a look at this. This is the apical tuft, the very tip of the fingertip. This is called a distal phalanges fingertip, obviously, the end. And distal means the furthest part away from your heart. And that is your distal phalanges apical tuft, which is the little piece that sits on the end, which is this piece right here. Sits on the end of the fingertip and holds all the little tendon balls in place so that you can articulate your finger. Now, I'm going to show you all this stuff a little better, but the other part I want you to see right now is over here where you're looking at what the fingertip looks like from the side view. Now, look at, the, the one's a gorilla, the one on the left, and this is a human. Now, look carefully very carefully at the left side of that finger, that tip that sticks up. That is the apical tuft that I just showed you on the tip of the finger bone. And that finger bone, I have some here, and I, you saw the apical tuft, which is the plate that's on there. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like as it's partially eroded. 
but it, it shows a pattern of that fingertip. It's called they call it a carbon silhouette. And you're gonna see this exact pattern right here. That pattern will be in the black carbon silhouette. Now I believe it's not carbon, I think it's the black ferrous oxide from the ferritins which are inside the bones. It's a black um well, I'll show it to you. I have some, well, i show it to you right now. Okay, this is a mud fossil bone. And that's the head of a bone. It's quite obvious. Nobody can dispute that. And the, the, uh, all of the blood vessels and the, the um, cartilage and that spot there is where the um, ligament ties in and holds it to the other bone. Now, what I was talking about before, that black silhouette you're going to see is this stuff here it's that it's called um, ferritin and it's a black substance that comes from the blood that's in the marrow now here's what happens to the bones you see that I don't even know if you can see that it's so small that little tiny bitty 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 piece in the center right there that's all that's left of the bones they transition into uh, what they call source rock in the petroleum in industry, and they do become um, fossil fuels to some degree. Anyway, that's what the bones do. They transition into that black. So now, let's look at the one I talked about with the ferritin. That's this one right here, and has that black, you see that black silhouette there? I hope you can see that. Let me see, I'll, I'll just moisten it up because a little moistness brings it up. Give me a sec. No, you should be able to see that black spot right there in the, in the middle. That's that bone that is this one right up here that I showed before. I had to get the lights down a little bit low so you can see some. But it's at the very tip of that bone. You can see it's quite obvious it's identical to what I'm showing here. Right there, that black spot. You see? Now, the other part, you can see the other part of the bone. If you look carefully, this part here, whoops, let me put it up this way. There, there's the, the way it sticks up in the air. Your finger would be sticking straight up in the air. Now, let me try to see if balance this on this heart <laughs> in front of that piece of meat. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, we got a heart to the left, we got meat to the right, and we got the finger to the top. Here we go. So now, there's your bone silhouette, that black thing. That's your fingertip. Now, if you can look, I'm going to try to highlight it so that the shadows, it's a little hard for you to see, but well, now you can see it. Well, you can see it very easily now. You see this comes up around and back around. You see it? It's hard to get it just exactly right. But you can see that that's what it does. It wraps around and it comes out to the tip, which is out here. And of course, that's a fingertip. Now, the one below it came out of the same hole, which didn't erode like this. This eroded a lot. Well, oh, by the way, let's talk about the vein and the artery. I said the arteries blow out, and they do. You see that hole right there? You see that hole right there? And you see this hole right here at the back? This one right there? And the other one is the vein. is still there. Now the artery one blew out. And it blew out. And it blew out. The vein one doesn't blow out. There is an actual plug on the end here. You can't see it because it's, it's plugging up the vein, the vein side. And you can, these sides you can see, but you have to look careful, you have to know what you're looking at. That is the plugged up vein. It's saying, I'm not going to let you out of here because I'm a vein. And that, there's another one right up in this crook area, right in behind there, which that little hook holds in tendons. Alright, so now, let me back this up so I don't have to hold all these things at once. Alright, now let me put some lights on. All right, now, what did we learn? Let's look at this one more time. 
whoops, that's the back side of it. So it was laying on this side. Now, there's that carbon silhouette, which is really fair, I, I believe. There's your vein side, which I say is a vein, and the other one's an artery. I mean, the artery comes in, the vein comes back. It's, it looks like it to me, and then they're showing something else. I'm seeing everything that I, I claim on this side. That is exactly what happens in veins. They pinch off, so no blood comes out. Pinched off, no blood comes out. Pinched off, no blood comes out. Totally open blood. And this is DNA certified. Now, this is human mitochondrial DNA, and it's certified, so... That's what it is. I'm sorry, that's what it is. And that's artery blew out, artery blew out. I'm sorry, that's the case. Now, you show me where I'm wrong. I'm showing you pictures of the, you know, um, x-rays showing it's, it's what's in there. And I'm showing you here my mud fossils, that's what's in there. And this is the, another one of the oop, giant fingers that came out of the uh, of the same hole and I have the palm and I have all kinds of things from this now I have a knuckle and uh, more fingers and so forth and this is extremely specific chemistry you see those yellow orange spots that's not dirt that's not dust that's not clay that is some form of chemistry that involves your tendons and holding them locking them in place and there's other we see up here that's the same same color you see the little spots same color up there the, what's going on here is this chemistry in the body they have no clue about they're just missing it and 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 they're missing like i i, I don't know what to say what i just showed you uh, looks to me like they don't even know how the blood flows through the body i don't know I'm just making it, maybe I'm just totally wrong, but what I'm seeing, I'm seeing. And I see so much is wrong that I just now look for myself. I don't bother looking for anybody else's stuff. I don't know what else to say. And I know that they all do this with the black on one side and not the black on the other. No question whatsoever. So, it's red and black to me, and that means vein and artery. And I'll show you, blood. well, here's right here. There's blood moving across. This is where it came in on the red side, and you see this yellow stuff? Whoops. <laughs> I do that all the time. All right, it coming in on the, the, the oxygenated side, and it goes through all these little bitty, 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 tiny things. It gets over to the side, the blood vessels. It gets over to this side, and it's black because it's now exchanged all its oxygen along the way. It comes in reddish. It's very hard to see if I put some water on there, it might red up a little bit, but it comes across and it comes back black. That's what I see. That's what I see. So, somebody else can tell me something different. Oh, by the way, blood comes out of these a lot. This one I just picked up a couple of days ago. The blood comes right out of them. When they come out of the mud, this was a, this is a bonehead, similar to this one here, only it's it's broken up, and that's how I can see inside where those, uh, that where, where blood spots would have been moving through the vessels and so forth. This one was in the mud, and when it's wet in the mud, there's still a lot of blood in there. The blood just pops out of here. And there's, there's um, fibrin. It's like a, white fi uh, like a white parchment almost underneath there, which is the clotting. And then the blood wads up there. And it's blood, and those are scabs. And that's the black and the red, and this is, is a bone. So anyway, that's mud fossils. They have to start paying attention. This is real. This is a giant fingertip. That thing's about 50, 60 feet tall. I have, um, I have all, all kinds of stuff. I got, I, mean, I got tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. This Triassic goose. And that is a goose. And I guarantee you that is a goose. And if you don't see that as a goose, then I don't know what... You see that? You see the feathers on his head? That's the feather pattern coming right off the back of his head. There's a little goose's eye there right there. Hello, goose. There's his nose. There's a little roughly stuff. Now, what happened on his head, he, he died laying here. See, it was, his, it was this side. So this side's flat, not much to it. But this side has all the articulation, or whatever you want to call it, the, the stuff that looks exactly like a duck, and he has his feathers were up at the top in a feather pattern. You go get some duck person, they'll know. And on the back here, his neck came up and, and it broke off. 
I mean, I'm sorry, from over this way. And his neck was laying out this way and it broke off. And you can actually see his throat and everything in there and where the bone would have been and all that stuff. Anyway, it's, and it's, I got so many people that have so many things. New species, also a ton of stuff. So it's time to go into the reality of this and not deny it anymore because kids are paying for college and so forth and they're just getting silliness to, told to them about this kind of stuff. I mean, they got to learn. I'm sure they, they learn a lot in there. I'm not saying they don't. But this kind of stuff is wrong and it needs to be looked at. And by the way, this is how a heart shows up. You see those little black and white dots all over there? You'll see that and then you'll see a thin line and a thick line, a 90 degree runoff. That's a heart. Right? And then if you look real careful, you'll see where the A orders and stuff like that hooked in. Uh, there'll be, um, see it like that right there? That's not just a weak spot in the rock. That is where an, one of the attachments went, one of the, you know, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so anyway, that's it.